This time we are going to trade an advanced version of the MACD entry. I will speed the test up a little bit. And now you can see that we are trading several positions here. And that's because we are using a framework. This framework basically is a collection of functions that are able to manage open trades. And you can use any entry you like. Now, how can we create a MACD entry that can be used for a framework? To do that, please click on the little button here in MetaTrader. And that should open the Meta Editor. And in the Meta Editor, you want to click on File, New, Expert Advisor from Template, Continue. I will call this one Check Entry underscore MACD. Now click on Continue, Continue and finish and in this case you can delete everything because we are going to create a new function with the name check entry it is a string function because it will return a string so let's create an empty string without any value and it will have the name signal we also need a price array so i will create one of the type double and that will be called my price array. And now we want to define the properties of the MACD expert advisor. And that can be done by using iMACD for the current symbol on the chart and the current period. And these values 12, 26 and 9 can also be seen if you click on insert, indicators, oscillators, MACD. This is a value of 12 for the fast EMA, the slow EMA has a value of 26, and the MACD SMA has a value of 9. The calculation is based on the close price, and that's exactly what we do here. So let's sort our array from the current candle downwards by using array set as series, for the price array we have created here and after that we can fill the array by using copy buffer for the MACD definition that we have created in this line we use a zero for the first line the current candle also is candle zero we want to calculate it for three candles that's the three here and afterwards we want to store the result in our price array. So let's get the value of the current candle. That would be candle 0 in my price array and we store the value in a float variable called MACD value. And if the MACD value is above 0, we want to create a signal for a sell trade because we believe that the MACD value is overbought. And in the other case, if the MACD value is below zero, we create a buy signal. That's about it. In the last step, we want to return the calculated value to the main module by using return signal. Now let's save the module. And now I need to recompile the framework. If you don't know what a framework is, you can think of it as a group of functions that can be imported to manage your open trades. The only thing you have to do is to pick one of the entry signals and in the onTick function it will check for a signal by calling the check entry function that we have created here and afterwards it calls the trade management and with the check for tick function in the trading framework we will handle the signal and open a trade. That's a little bit more complicated, but in this little video we are just talking about the entry. Okay, the compilation of the framework was successful. If you don't know how to create a framework, you might want to take the course on my website to learn it. And I will also offer another way to get it in a few weeks, so if you're interested, you can find everything about it on my website. Now let's click on the little button here or press F4 to go back to MetaTrader. And in MetaTrader I click on View, Strategy Tester, 
or I press Ctrl and R. And in the strategy tester, I choose the Forex trading framework. Let's pick a whole year, enable the visualization mode and start a test. And here is how it looks like. I will speed it up a little bit for you. And now you can see the results. It's running pretty fast, but I can still speed it up. I only have to disable the visualization here. Let's maximize this panel, start the test, and here is how it works. And that's a way to do hundreds or thousands of trades in a few seconds. And now our framework has finished. And this is the end result. You can click on the results tab here and you see that we would have made $3,360. And now you know how to create a MACD entry for an automated trading framework and you have coded it yourself with a few lines of MQL5 code.